Welcome back to today's video. We are talking all about how to take notes from articles that you read on the internet and put them into your personal knowledge management system, be able to find them again and do something useful with them. Hi, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about the mindsets, workflows and practices of being a daily creator on the internet. I read a lot of articles every week. Um, I have a newsletter where I kind of curate articles and I just, I love to read. Um, and, uh, and so what I found is that on the internet, there's a lot of people who uh, clip articles into things like Instapaper and Pocket. We uh, clip a lot of things and then we never get to them and we never read them. So this is how I, my process um, that I use to kind of like not fall into that black hole. All right, so let's first talk about how I actually get things into my system. I don't use services like Instapaper or Pocket. I know Readwise is building their own um, app as well. Uh, I like to have it in my, inside where I actually consume content, uh, which uh, is in Rome or in Notion or whatever other personal management system you use. So let's dive in and I'll show you how I actually clip content and then how that then goes through the whole process of actually reading it, taking some useful notes and um, doing something with it. All right, so, so once I actually find an article that I want to clip, I just easily set up a template using Smartblocks that looks a little something, this one. So basically, one of the reasons I love using Smartblocks is that you can set up these templates. So I've set up one that has all the tags that I already need. It's an article, I, everything comes in as part, it's also tagged as library um, and uh, it actually brings in some clipboard text and it, it says that it's um, it was clipped today. Okay, so I always add things to my brain dump area. So basically all I do is I just come and I copy the uh, URL and then I just go XX, that brings up all of my templates and I'll just go article, new, and see that brings in the link straight away. And all I then do is just come in and I will grab the name and stick it in here. And then I'll also just put the author's name in. It's Steve Galeski. I'm pretty sure. Galeski. So it is a little more friction in no uh, in Rome but I actually love that and then I'll add some tags this is about brain it's about anxiety so I'll just add a few little tags in here I like the friction um, and I'll tell you why is that the friction actually I have to really think do I want this in my uh, in my personal knowledge management system like is this an article worth the friction and, uh, and so I really, really like that. All right, so now we know that it's not enough just to clip articles. We actually do need a way to get from clipped into some kind of system that is able to bring it back up for you again. And so for me, that happens by uh, really being intentional about uh, looking at my parked list. And that's why I love to have my clippings in the tool that I use to actually take notes because it's right in front of me. And I think that it's intentional about saying, okay, what are the articles that I wanna read this week? All right, so all these articles uh, come in here and everything that is tagged as the library actually comes in uh, to these queries. So if we have a look, we can see this query is um, everything that is tagged as library and parked. And so you notice if we come back here to what I clipped is that as part of the actual template, I, ta I tag it as both library and parked and what type of content that it is. So I'm not thinking in the moment, um, okay, I've got to make sure I add the article tag. I've got to make sure I add the library tag. The templates actually make it super easy for me to clip it and then find it later. Everything comes in as parked. Okay, so everything in here is stuff that I have clipped and is waiting uh, to uh, come into my up next pile. So my up next kind of system and pile really came from like, if you can imagine like um, on your desk, you might have like a pile of books, like that's the ones I wanna read next. 
or a whole heap of magazines that, you know, I want to read that one next. I came up with this whole system that I, uh, I clip everything into parked and that's kind of everything that's available to me. And then once a week I will come in here and I will change a whole heap of, um, statuses from parked into up next. And so what you'll see is let's bring this up in the sidebar is there's eight things already in my up next pile. Um, and, uh, and so when I go during the week, uh, when I have some time to consume rather than, uh, rather than coming here into parked and having 42 different things. And I'm like, oh gosh, what do I actually want to, uh, want to consume? I reduce the overwhelm by making a decision at the beginning of the week rather than trying to make a decision in the moment. And so I'll literally come to my up next pile. And I'll choose the next thing on the list and I'll open it up and I will start taking those notes. Okay. Um, and that's been really helpful um, to kind of reduce the overwhelm of like everything. This is ev absolutely everything that I could do. So once a week, I do come in here and I will review a whole heap of stuff and I'll say, okay, um, yeah, I want to move this one into up next. And so in Rome, I just changed the tag. So I put up next and I remove parked. And so removing parked removes it from this query because in this query, we're looking for library and parked. And then in this query, we're looking for library and up next. And there's a few kind of things that I'm not looking for. Um, so, and I just go through once a week, usually on a Sunday, I come in and I'm like, yeah, I wanna add that one. Lucky it's Sunday today. We're just, you know, doing my normal regular routine. Um, and I might go, yeah, this is a great one. I want to, you know, and so I'll like have a whole, a whole heap of different things. So articles, videos, uh, podcast, um, and I'll just add a heap of stuff in there. Uh, and then I close parked and then the up next pile sits there for the week. And, and that's where I know that I'm going to go and read. It takes the overwhelm out of everything and it. Uh, takes kind of that whole like, well, I've clipped all this stuff. I'm never getting to it. So when I'm ready to uh, to actually sit down and read, I'm ready to engage with the content. All I do is I just come in here, I add it to my in progress and I click on the link and I consume on either my laptop here or on my iPad. So I come in here and I'll, I'll just start uh, like reading, right? I do not take highlights and I don't copy and paste things. I write things in my own words and that's really transformed how I've consumed content because now I can, um, I can actually remember things that I read and I can connect them into things that I already know. And when I go to actually write permanent notes, um, I can, uh, I, I don't have to like rewrite things or rethink things. It's like, you know, when I'm consuming or engaging with content, I'm actually doing thought work. So I'll just kind of peruse, I'll start reading. Um, and I, I might think, oh, this is a really interesting point. Like who is sitting in the audience? Um, when, when you know who you're speaking to, it becomes easier. And so I might think, oh, okay, that's a great, that's a great note. So I will come and I keep all of the notes on this uh, under the literature notes uh, heading. And I have a little uh, template as well, which comes from Smart Blocks, which is called Lit Note. And so all of my uh, literature notes that I write, so everything that I write from an article, I tag as Lit Note. And then that then comes into um, a whole kind of processing, um, uh, processing query that I can do later. And then I'll say, okay, that was really interesting. Um, like know who you're speaking to. And so I'll just write a quick note, like it's best to know who you're speaking to when you're writing, it makes it infinitely easier to write. And that's it. I'll just keep writing a whole lot of notes on that. And once I have done that and I'm finished with this article, I will change it from uh, in progress. It'll get a tag of to process 
and then the others will come out because it's no longer up next or in progress and so then I'm done and so I will just work through my up next pile exactly the same so I'll take another article open it up read it take some literature notes and that's exactly how I take all of my notes here. So all of my literature notes end up here um, and uh, I can open this up and I'll see, uh, so you'll see that straight up, right? So literature notes to process um, to Thought Lab and it comes up straight away. So, so the key here is that when I'm in engage mode, like when I'm engaging with the content, I don't actually have to think where is this going to go? What am I doing with it? How do I tag it? Um, I don't think of any of that. I literally uh, am thinking about things, getting ideas and just dumping them in as literature notes. And so when I am in uh, kind of process mode, I can actually then come in and think about this. And so I'll end up thinking about, okay, uh, where's this note going to go? Um, how can I fit it into what I already know? And I'll process it into what I call my thought lab, which is my Zettelkasten. I have a whole uh, Medium article that I've written on that that I will link below. And so I hope that you can see kind of how this whole process is about really being intentional, engaging with content, choosing what you want to read and like not having to think so much about the like, about processing in the moment. Then you're going to get to your processing mode where you've got a whole heap of notes and you can decide was this important? Did I really need to take this? Where does this fit into the knowledge that I already no. So guys, if you liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I do videos like this every week to show you some of the workflows and practices that I use around creating content on the internet every day.